Hello Duke Nukem 3D players. Welcome to this tutorial guide that will explain how to set up the game Duke Nukem 3D to play online. So let's get started. This tutorial shown in the video will be set up on the Windows platform. First, you will download a program called NukemNet and extract it to any folder on your computer and you can find a download link in the description below for the YouTube video. Run the nukemnet.exe to open the program, you'll arrive at the main chat lobby IRC channel. Although NukemNet has support for many games, they are not bundled with it, meaning you have to download the games from online sources such as Steam and GOG. NukemNet is not affiliated with any game, and therefore they are not allowed to distribute them. There is a link in the description of the YouTube video to buy Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition digitally if you don't own a copy already. Once you have obtained the games you want to play, you need to tell NukemNet where they are installed. <laughs> In NukemNet, click Setup on the top of the application. On the bottom, select your game from the Select box under Game Setup. Use Locate to find your game folder for the game edition you have. Some games have more than one edition, so make sure you locate the right one. Click on the blinking green button, click to save. Do this for all your games. Once all games are configured, scroll to the bottom and click Save Settings. <music> By choice, you can download a Windows source port called NetDuke32, which I will show this now.
copy the following game files to the NetDuke32 folder location. Install DOSBox, which is a DOS emulator, allowing you to run DOS games on modern systems. To play DOS games with NukemNet, you must first set up DOSBox and configure it with NukemNet unless you just want to use the source ports instead. Install DOSBox, DOSBox staging is recommended, and the link is in the description. In NukemNet, click Setup. Click Locate for the DOSBox entry, then click to save and save your settings. Now to choose a nickname. In the setup, you can assign a name for chatting on NukemNet and a different name for the games themselves, shown while playing. Also, if you are playing a game called Shadow Warrior, the most popular source port is Void SW, and you can get it in the Downloads tab on the NukemNet website. It's the same steps as Duke Nukem 3D except you need to copy the file sw.grp from your original copy. Now, if you want to play on multiplayer. Once you have everything set up on NukemNet, click Play at the top. Select which game to play using the Select box. Select Game Edition, Executable, using the Select box. In Mode, choose Multiplayer. Set all the parameters for your game, such as Level, Episode, Players. Click Create, and a new chat room will open.
Congratulations, you have created a game room. Invite your friends to join your room. Once everyone is inside, click Start Game. The game will launch for everyone. Some games, such as Duke 3D, have settings that must be configured before launching the game. You can do so by clicking Launch Settings while in a game room or by clicking Play on the top and choose the Settings mode. You can edit game parameters, level, etc. by clicking Edit Game in your game room. If you have trouble forwarding the default ports required for the game, then you might have port connectivity issues. To host a game on NukemNet, you must forward your game UDP port 23513 by default. You can do so in your home router interface or right within NukemNet. To use the Port Forward feature in NukemNet, click Port Settings on top. Wait for the spinner to finish, then click Just Forward Port for me. It may or may not work depending on your router configuration. You can click Check My Game Port Connectivity to check if your port is ready. If you cannot forward your port, no worries. There's still a workaround. Once you host a multiplayer game room, click Try Relay Server. Then choose the relay with the lowest ping. This will overcome the requirement to port forward completely, however may or may not add some lag, depending on various situations. Select a relay. A relay allows you to host without port forwarding. Depending on the situation, it might add some lag or make the connection more stable. 